Damn, that's a lot of cutting. What's up everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Now today is going to be again over the course of a couple days because there's going to be a lot of custom work when it comes to installing the Chase Bay's tucked aluminum radiator. Now it's a little, it's tucked, it's a little shorter and it's tucked underneath the radi radiator support rather than being in front. And as you can see, it's really thick and it's dual pass. So it goes in and out on the same side, but it's not like it goes in here and then right back out. It actually forces it to go all around the radiator to dual pass and then it uh, comes back out. And with it, I also got the Nishimoto dual fans. Um, these push out a lot of CFM. I think it was 1700 CFM if I'm not mistaken. And with this, I also got the Chase Space fill port because this engine and to fill it up with antifreeze, there's going to be air pockets. So what happens with this is it goes in this place on the radiator, nice and high. So this is the highest point in the engine. So when you fill it with uh, antifreeze, you know, it won't leave any air pockets in the engine or any of the hoses. I also got from Chase Base a dual fan relay. This is uh, nice and easy so you can connect both fans onto the ECU and the water temp sensor. That way the fans aren't always running. They only turn on when it's needed, when it starts heating up. That, you know, these fans are big. They're going to be a little loud. So let me show you on this car what I'm going to do. Like I said, that radiator over there goes underneath this radiator support. So it's under there. Um, I loosened these up already. I don't know if I'm gonna have to take them out. I know I'm gonna have to do some cutting over here, possibly some notching up here. I still gotta play around with it. And there's a little bit of hacked up wiring on this car because this car was a Zenki and it was converted into a Kuki. So, you know, Zenkis are 95, 96 and it was converted to a Zen kooky I might have these confused because now I just said it way too much but whatever it was converted it has a front end conversion you know a little bit more of an aggressive look so someone did the wiring not that neat of a job I'll eventually change it but for now I just want to add the radiator so I'm going to put it under here and make sure I have room for the intercooler that goes up front this is obviously going to have to be removed this is most likely going to have to be removed but it's okay because on my hood I have these locks rather than the oem latch that goes right here because i have a carbon fiber hood which is behind the car somewhere hidden since it's been off for so long and that's it so i'm going to show you guys doing this i've never done it before it's going to take a while and i'll show you as much as i can so here we go all right fellas so i grabbed the radiator a couple times i mocked it in there and i kept you know checking it out and it looks like I'm going to have to cut this off. I may have to cut more. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't want to cut too much because you can't really add. Well, you can add, but it's a lot of more work when I could just, just cut a little bit more. So I'm going to have to cut this much and radiator will should fit right up against the top radiator support. I don't think I want the radiator right up against the top radiator support. I'd rather give it a little bit more room, so I might have to cut more than that. Now I have to cut on both sides the same thing. So I'm going to cut that off, fit the radiator. Hopefully these can stay because, I don't know, I, I think my bumper mounted to it. It helps, you know, strengthen the bumper. And if I take off too many things for the bumper, I'm going to have to get like a bash bar. You know, it is what it is. But this radiator is supposed to be, you know, top notch, keeping this engine cool. So let me just chop away really quick. is off there it is see or there it was i'm just gonna clean it up a little bit deburr it because you know it's got all these burrs so i'm gonna deburr this clean it 
and uh, do the other side really quick and then I'm gonna test fit the radiator radiator once again now you got to go back and forth a lot that way I don't overcut so it is what it is all right guys welcome back this is another day I have been working on this here on and off as you can see this video I skipped a day because it was just really tough to find time to work on this and figuring everything out so as you can see here I cut all this as you guys saw in the video and from in here I dropped the radiator pulled it in see that I had to chop a little bit here chop a little bit here the tabs are right up against the body I have to drill a hole through this tab and through the body so I can put a bolt and a nut and look at how much clearance is here so my fat fans can fit and I still have room to like service the belt without having to remove the fans which is awesome you can see the intake is right here but remember I do have don't mind this I do have this right here which goes you guys remember right in here like this so once this is in makes it the highest point to fill um, the radiator so I put this in so what I'm gonna have to do here is chop this off chop this off and well aluminum weld this to this area that way it can be the most direct route to the radiator so still got to do that that goes over there and all this wiring this is the ambient air temperature sensor this has to do with AC like when it's really hot out and this senses that it's hot if I'm not mistaken oh man you guys are dirty um, this will make the AC work like a little bit harder and I don't know I don't need it this is trash and all of these right here this all this that has to do with my lighting and up in here is a thick wire I don't know if you guys see, you see this all this goes above the radiator so I don't know why Nissan did this this was like a little bit retarded on their part so all the interior wiring stuff goes you know from inside comes out here and it's all up in here look at this it's in the wheel well so a lot of 240 owners have this problem when they hit like bumps and when they drop the car the tire rubs on that wire harness and creates electrical problems and shorts so you know the wire comes out this way all these 6,000 wires come this way into the fuse box so another video I'm gonna remove all that wiring to headache I'm afraid but I gotta do it because it looks nasty so I'm gonna remove all the wiring remove the box and probably either put it I don't know if I'm gonna put it in the trunk by the battery box or if I'm gonna put it behind the dash under there I do want access to the fuses at all times. I don't want to take apart like, the entire dash just to get the fuses. And I know a lot of people take out the airbags on these cars because I was told that with the high boost and takeoffs and drag racing, you know, the hard takeoff could actually activate the airbag. And when the, the airbag activates in these cars, it'll crack the windshield and it'll bust up your dash and call for a really, really bad day. I don't want to deal with that. So I might remove the airbag and I'm going to have to trick the whatever I have to trick to make make it think that the airbag's okay. I'm gonna have to figure that out. That's that's all above me, but I'll do it. And then the wires, yeah, I gotta figure. On the dash or the trunk, I don't know. You guys tell me what have you two Jay-Z owners, 240 owners, what you guys have done. And as you can see, like all this piping, I got a little bit excited and I want to mount the intercooler. And what I'm gonna do on the intercooler, which is also another video because I think this video is gonna be long enough, is I'm gonna straighten these out, cut them nice and straight, cut off these things, and drill two holes and put screws on there. So this is removable. And then the, that I'll put into these little holes and it should hold. That's another video. I'll figure that out. I actually came with this too, CX Racing. Don't really know what it's for, but I think I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna cut it, make an angle out of it, and use these little slits. Like I'm gonna cut it here, make an angle, and use those little slits to bolt the it's cooler so those things and I'm trying to figure out the piping not really sure what this is for I mean it's a little bit smaller than the rest you can see it goes like right inside I'm not really sure where that goes I'm still trying to figure it out I know that this one goes here because it's the blow-off valve port which I might have to remove if I go aftermarket don't really know the connection of blow-off valves I know that goes there I have to make this hole bigger so these fit and if I'm not mistaken from 
push this will be gone. From the turbo it goes like this, the elbow, elbow, and I think there's another elbow going down. I have to cut where the battery box was. Remove the windshield wiper fluid. So I guess the pipes come down and over. Maybe, maybe this one like that, and maybe like an elbow. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't really know how this piping goes. I might have to buy more. I don't know if CX Racing gave me enough. I don't know. But radiator's looking really good. I'm liking it. It's nice. It's fat. It's dual pass. It's great. So all I got to do is drill those holes. Uh, but I think I'm going to end the video here. Because you guys know how to drill holes and pull bolts. And it was really just uh, an update. Um, next video, when I could do it. Don't know when the next video is coming out because I do have a vacation coming up. Going out to Colorado in Denver. If any of you Denver guys are around, you know, hit me up. I'm going to be in the area from May 18th to the 23rd. Uh, that's it, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any ideas. Don't forget to leave in the comments something about the, about the fuse box, where to place it, where you guys think is the best. Trunk seems to be the best, easiest access. I don't have to take the dash apart, which... I think it'll be like really cool. I don't want to take the dash apart. My interior is still totally together. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe and make sure you leave a like. And don't forget to leave a comment. And don't forget to turn on post notifications. That's a lot of stuff to do, but you guys can do it. And let me know if I did anything wrong, because this is the point where it gets really customized stuff. All right, guys. Remember, work hard, stay humble.